Two of the biggest killers in the UK are inactive lifestyles and smoking. The Centre for Public Health at the University of Bristol is looking at the effectiveness of interventions to promote better health. And as Carolyn Sim found out, they've seen some very positive results, especially in the classroom. Smokers lose more teeth than non-smokers. Smoking during pregnancy is a bit like giving your baby a puff on a cigarette. Children like these are joining the fight against smoking, learning how to convince their peers not to start. I want to be a footballer when I'm older. But then you best not smoke then. Why not? Because smoking can cause loads of different diseases and problems with your heart. Their training is part of ASSIST, a smoking prevention programme for young people developed at Bristol and Cardiff University. Well over 100,000 children have already been exposed to the ASSIST programme, preventing 2,000 of them from taking up smoking. If every local authority in the UK signed up to the scheme, research shows that 20,000 children every year wouldn't take up the habit. It's huge. Um, there's an enormous economic effect on the, the, the world at large, um, costs to the NHS and all of those sorts of things. But at a personal level, you know, we've greatly reduced the prospects of those children dying early, having all kinds of associated health problems. The evidence was so strong and the collaboration with Cardiff so successful, a new company was set up to market the scheme to local authorities. We are in the business of taking public health interventions and taking them out to the real world so that they make a difference to real people. We train the trainers, we give the, the customers and the schools help in taking the programmes forward. We also quality assure the programme, which basically means making sure that the programme that was proven to work is the programme that they run. It gives them increased confidence, I think, as well as the skills that they learn to then pass on to their peers around the negatives of smoking and the positives of being smoke free and they always say most of them at the end of it that I'm never going to go on and smoke so that's really positive. We got taught like how to um, put facts into like casual sentences to each other so it's not like embarrassing to like talk about it. Because they know that it's someone like their age it's not like older people nagging at them. Assist is just one of the practical interventions developed here in Bristol. Research is already underway into a new scheme, Walk to Work, to encourage people to include more physical activity in their daily routine. What we're doing is testing to see whether the message can be got through in the workplace. So we're training someone in, work, in a workplace as a Walk to Work promoter and we're asking them to encourage their colleagues. So we're, we'll give them brief training and some um, booklets and other information and then they're going to be encouraging their, their colleagues to have a go at walking to work. The volunteers' physical activity is monitored by special gadgets, ensuring enough hard evidence is gathered. Susan Rickaby took part in the trial and has already changed her habits. I was surprised that after the first couple of goes, when I did think, what am, what am I doing trying to do this? After the first couple of goes, I actually, I actually did get to enjoy it and you know, it's nice to get home and feel actually quite relaxed. Researchers believe interventions like walk to work and assist are contributing to significant improvements in public health. Those changes didn't just come about by individual young people changing their behaviour, they came about by a lot of very skilled work by public health practitioners working at the governmental and policy level and working in local authorities and in the NHS and working with schools and communities to encourage the, that change to happen. So I think in future it's really important that we remember that so that we've got a workforce who are able to implement the interventions that we know work and that we can work with them to develop new interventions to meet the public health challenges of the future. By building a strong evidence base and by collaborating with other universities, researchers here believe the programmes they devise are effective and value for money and will ultimately save lives.